Hey, Kristen, how you doing? Hey, Dan, I'm really well. How are you? I'm well too, yeah. Um, this is Kristen Berardi, who's one of my favorite singers and uh, somebody I've actually been doing a fair amount of low latency audio with during the pandemic. And so I thought Kristen would be a fantastic partner to uh, do this introduction to Farplay with. So we're gonna set up Farplay from scratch and set up a session and then play some music for you. But before we do that, I just wanna check out what the latency is that we're getting over Zoom. Right now, we're, we just have a completely standard Zoom connection happening. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, clap. And then I want you to clap at exactly the same time that I'm clapping. And then we'll see mm -hmm. how much later we hear it over here. Okay, okay, so here we go. One E and a two E and a three E and a. Oh my God. <laughs> so to you, that sounded simultaneous? Yeah. That's insane. I thought so, I was on point. <laughs> that's amazing. So over here, it was like, doom, goom. So that's the kind yeah. of latency we're dealing with when we use something like Zoom or WhatsApp or FaceTime. These are programs that are not trying to do low latency audio. And as a result, there's a ton of buffering happening and we end up hearing the audio of the other person like way later. So Kristen's gonna share her screen on her Mac. <clears throat> I should say that both of us have plugged in some audio gear, but you could also do this totally just with the microphone in your computer and with no extra audio gear, it would work really well too. Uh, this will just make it sound a bit better. Why don't you open a browser window <laughs> and go to farplay.io and go to download. And since you're on Mac, uh, go ahead and download the, the Mac version. And yeah, you can click in your downloads there and double click far play and then just hit open. Awesome. And there's far play. Yay. So here is my own copy of far play. And why don't you go ahead and create a new session? Dukes. Cool. And I'll click join session on my copy. And uh, if you could just tell me what the session ID is, then I'll put it in here. Mm -hmm. So 3B9E03. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Awesome. So I'm going to join session. And there we are. So we're connected both on Farplay and on Zoom. So go ahead yes, and say something. Yes. Yeah, so right now, I, go ahead and say something again. Okay, okay. Yeah, so right now I'm hearing two copies of Kristen and that's because uh, I'm hearing her both through Zoom and through Farplay. And so at this point, uh, a good thing to do is just to mute Zoom. So we can both just go there, mute Zoom. Okay, and now I'm just hearing you in, um, in Farplay. Yes, awesome. And the audio is super clean because one of the things about Farplay is that it transmits completely uncompressed audio. Uh, whereas yeah, programs like FaceTime or, or, or Zoom do a lot of compression to the audio. Farplay is just transmitting completely uncompressed audio, which is one of the many things it does in order to keep the latency super low. Mm -hmm. So right away, why don't we do another clap test? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. One E and a two E and a three E and a yeah, just like absolutely at the same time, just such a massive difference from what's happening with Zoom. And you're in France. Oh yeah, we haven't even said this. Yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I'm in France, I'm in Paris. And where are you, Kristen? I'm in Luzerne in Switzerland. Okay, so Luzerne to Paris as a crow flies, that's about 400 miles or 600 kilometers. Okay, so we're very far away from each other. We happen to have this really good internet connection. Uh, we both have fiber connections. And so that helps here, but you could be doing this. Uh, I've, I've tested it with all kinds of different connections, even with a, a much worse internet connection. This will still work, although you might have more artifacts. So let's talk about some of the settings here. The first thing is at the top of the window, you've got your sound. So that's your own sound. And, and you've got a, a monitor slider there. So mm -hmm. you can decide, first of all, how much of your own sound you hear in your headphones. Hi, hey. Lord, I, how. I think I think that's cool for now. It's good for you. 
Mm -hmm. Under that, you got the channel selector. Mm -hmm. So right there, you can select whether you're sending me stereo or mono. Since you have a, a mono mic, you might as well yeah. send me mono, right? There's no, there's no reason to send me stereo. Mm -hmm. And then under that, you've got dance sound. Mm -hmm. And right there, you can set just how much of me you hear. Uh, so, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, but wait a minute. I haven't selected my audio device, actually. So right now I'm sending you the sound from, from just the internal mic on my computer. Uh, but I'm going to switch that to my audio device, which is this uh, H&F series multi-track USB audio. Oh, that cleaned up straight away. Now I'm, now I'm going to send you stereo. So now you're going to hear my voice like in one ear and the, and the piano in the other, right? Yes. Okay, so... That's because I have this little lapel mic here going into channel one of my audio interface, and I have some mics in my piano um, going into channels two and three. And so when I'm sending Kristen stereo, my voice is in her left ear and the piano is in her right ear or, or the other way around. And so since that's pretty awkward to hear, mm. you can hit mono monitor, and that's gonna just mix both channels down to one channel. And so now you should hear me in the middle, right? Yes. Is that way better? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the like kind of key feature of Farplay is this buffer slider under dance sound. Mm -hmm. So basically that allows you to choose how long Farplay waits before sending you the sound it gets from me. Right now you're on a buffer of four. That's probably a really good setting, but you can play around with that. If for example, you're getting some audio glitches from me and it's just a little too much, mm -hmm. um, you could move it up higher or okay. lower. And so we can see under that what kind of latency we're getting, which is right now it's 17 milliseconds, which is the equivalent of playing with somebody who's 17 feet away from you in a room or a little over five meters, because uh, sound actually travels just about one foot per millisecond in air. Yeah. yeah, so you can see Kristen has her Scarlet as the input, so that's why I'm getting this really nice sound from her mic. Um, I'm using my audio device as the input. We're both using just the built-in headphones on the Mac uh, for our monitoring, and um, we're good to go. Yeah, awesome. Should we make some music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> for 
Dan. Oh, such a such a joy to play with you, Kristen. Really, every time. You too. Even when we're 400 miles apart, it still feels totally amazing to me that this is possible. I yeah. mean, <laughs> it didn't used to be. Like, with this, you, you could be rehearsing stuff at a pretty great distance. I mean, you know, 400 miles is no problem. Um, could be could be more. Mm. You could be doing lessons. You know, like say you're teaching piano and you want to you want you want to do like a, a two piano thing you might want to play a bass line for your student uh you might want to you know sing along along with your student rather than having to just kind of demonstrate one up to the other um, yes. and and as i've been doing the whole pandemic you can do concerts this way too yeah in order to do concerts and and do recordings you'd be using a feature called broadcast output which i'll get to in another video uh, but for now you know here we are we we set up uh, a basic far play session uh, at quite some distance and we're able to make 
totally rhythmic music together. And mm -hmm. uh, I want to say a big thank you to Kristen Berardi for, uh, for joining me today to do this. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. And um, yeah, thanks for making it possible. <laughs> like, yeah, it's um, as we've discussed before, like having having a flow, whether it's like musically or even just to talk about your music with someone, you know, like over this, it's much more natural. Um, right. Even just for a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you can incredible. you can like interrupt each other, and it actually feels natural rather than being those like super awkward pauses. Yes, yeah. And you can really improvise together, which is what we both kind of live for in music. Yeah, fully. All right. Well, thanks again, and Thank uh, you. let's play again soon. Okay. Okay. Bye bye.